Hi, this is Judy. Around 10 o'clock on the evening of August 21st, 2008, I let the dogs out one last time to do their business, and this is who I found on my doorstep. Viva, the Gila Monster. I named her Viva because she has a V marking on her head, and in Spanish, Viva means live, or live long, as in a celebratory exclamation. At first, she was kind of startled, but then she started to relax a little, and I think her fear turned to curiosity. She went back to hunting the mice I think she was after under the house, because she had ample room to escape and get away from me, but she never did. She dipped on going back and forth to the edge of the house looking for mice, I think. Not moths, even though they were landing on her head, crawling all around. You hear her? She's just not so sure about me. She's saying, who are you? Isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous animals. Now, the Storm Desert in Arizona, it has the most biological and ecological diversity of all the American deserts. And I'm about 50 miles south of Phoenix in the heart of it. And very lucky to be regularly visited by these beautiful animals. This is my sixth Gila Monster video, all wild, all in their natural setting. Last year, we had five sightings within seven weeks on and around our little ranch. Two of them were the same lizard and the others were all different individuals. My website has a page devoted to those sightings with more detail and photographs. Now, this one I'd never seen before. The reason why I think it's a female, can't tell for sure, can't tell for sure unless you pick them up and look, and that's difficult to determine, and it's unlawful to pick them up. It's against the law unless you have a special permit in Arizona. But anyway, the reason why I think she's a female is that she had a smaller head than the others that I'm used to seeing, and research has shown that the males usually have larger size heads. So I think it's a girl. So the Gila monster is one of only two species of venomous lizards in the world. They're slow moving, not aggressive. Uh, though they're venomous, and the venom is very effective in subduing small prey, the bite is rarely fatal to humans, but it can be very painful. But you don't have anything to worry about if you don't bother them. But anyway, the venom comes out of the teeth that are armed with these grooves. And so when they... When they chew on their prey, that's when the venom comes out. They have to move the venom into the wound by chewing on it because of those little grooves. And they only need to eat a few times a year. The rest of the time, their pancreases are turned off. So when they eat, they secrete a hormone that turns their pancreases back on. New research discovered a link between their venom and a treatment for diabetes. And this is an exciting reminder that plants and animals offer solutions to problems that we have and therefore we should do all we can to protect them. It was in the early 1980s that Dr. John Ng in New York started studying venom from snakes and lizards because a lot of times the victim's pancreases would become inflamed, causing the production of insulin to go up. And insulin is the hormone that helps cells convert blood sugar, starches, and other food into energy. So he wanted to know what that compound was that stimulated the pancreas in hopes that he could find a way to help diabetes patients whose bodies don't produce enough insulin, or either the cells ignore the insulin that is produced. So he isolated this compound out of the Gila monster saliva that acted very much like the human hormone, but it's better than the human hormone. So he named it Exendin-4 and he developed a way to synthesize it chemically so that we don't have to collect these Gila monsters to get this drug, which is good. So the 
the drug is out and it's used as a combination therapy for type 2 diabetes patients, which is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful news. But these lizards are in danger due to encroachment on their habitat from development, off-road vehicle abuse, which I have another video that talks about that problem. So if you're lucky enough to ever see one of these beautiful lizards, please enjoy it from a distance, but don't attempt to pick it up or harass it. It's against the law in Arizona, unless you have a permit. And in case you're wondering, these great shots were done with Zoom. And also in case you're wondering, that background music is by an awesome group, Triplexity, three guys who have never met each other, but who have great virtual collaboration. So enjoy Viva. I hope to see her again. I was so thrilled. Viva the night for Gila Monster Lovers. This is gorgeous. Oh, look right here. There were Sonoran Desert Toads that I thought maybe she was after, but I don't think so. Because she kept on going back to the other part of the house. But isn't the Sonoran Desert a wonderful, beautiful, magical place? I'm so grateful that I live here. So blessed. Thank you so much for letting me share this with you. Look at those moths. It's so funny. She's so gorgeous. <laughs>